frankly, I couldn't believe uh, what I was hearing. Um, it was probably an element of shock that uh, maybe in certain regards my worst fear of how our Ukraine policy could play out uh, was playing out. That was testimony from a security official who heard the July 25th phone call between President Trump and Ukrainian President Zelensky. It was part of today's public hearings on the impeachment inquiry, and that inquiry is now generating some strong views from special interest groups. One such group is focused on going after local Congressman Connor Lamb. Political editor John Delano takes a closer look. As impeachment hearings go into full drive, a conservative issue advocacy group is running television ads against local Congressman Connor Lamb and a number of other Democrats. Tell Congressman Lamb, let the voters decide elections. Vote no on impeachment and get to work. The sponsor is the American Action Network, whose officials also run the Congressional Leadership Fund, a super PAC to elect a Republican majority in the U.S. House. Now it's crystal clear. Their partisan impeachment is a politically motivated charade. Connor Lamb promised to be different, but he's not. This ad is part of a $5 million television campaign and $2 million digital effort aimed at 20 Democrats like Lamb who are running in districts that President Trump carried in 2016. Connor Lamb could have voted to shut this whole thing down, but instead he decided to take his marching orders from Nancy Pelosi and Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez to keep the impeachment charade moving forward. No reaction from Lamb to this. He did vote for the impeachment inquiry, saying he still had an open mind on whether the president should be impeached. But again, the only important thing is the facts and what the witnesses have to say, what they have to tell us, and how we protect the American people. It's not about personalities. It's not about party. It's about what the evidence shows. American Action Network would not disclose its funding source, nor is it required to do so under current law, since it technically is an issue ad, not one calling for the election or defeat of a candidate. The ad campaign will run for at least two weeks. John Delano, KDKA News.